welcome everyone so far in our video series we have discussed how you can perform exploratory factor analysis confirmatory factor analysis and hypothesis testing for simple effects using MOS next I want to show you how we can perform mediation analysis if you have some mediation hypothesis in your model in your thesis or article so this is how we can do it I will show you here but uh, remember the mediation analysis the generally mediation means something which comes in the middle between independent and dependent variable in other words it creates a bridge or connection between independent and dependent variables for example if a company do more advertisement that means uh, it will get more familiarity among the public and that will lead to higher sales so in this example the familiarity increased familiarity because of the uh, increase advertisement is can be considered as a mediator so let me show you my model this is my model here you can see two independent variables one dependent variable one moderator and even one depend mediating variable so it's mediator because it's uh, you can see the direct effects of independent variable on dependent variable as well as the indirect effect means uh, person job fit is also affecting employee creativity through career commitment so P PJF or person job fit and POF or person organization fit both are affecting employee creativity through career commitment so that's why we can consider it as mediator you can have a look at this file in more details it should be available to you so you can see how we formulate hypothesis and how we uh, how we report the results but I want to show you practically how we do it so coming to the model now let's say we have got the we have tested the hypothesis and through imputed factors as I showed you in my last video uh, now how we perform the mediation it's very simple the same model but only we need to do is once you go to analysis properties and in output you add indirect effects because we want to see indirect total and direct effects and also in bootstrap just check this and maybe you want to do the bootstrapping 5000 times 2000 but I will just do 2000 and bias corrected BCI um, BCCI or bias corrected confidence interval I will keep it at 90 and I will just mention it in my report and that's it really and we can run the rerun the analysis again as I, am, I am telling you in my last video as well first we look at the model fitness but this model fitness shouldn't be a problem because it is almost the same model so like from the last one so you can see the same GFI above 0.9 RMI less than 0.05 and CFI above 0.9 only we had a problem with Ramsey uh, but other than that this model looks okay so we can go ahead now where is mediation analysis we go to this matrix and once you click on matrix you will see different tables total effects direct effects indirect effects this is what we want we want total effects we want direct effects and we want indirect effects so uh, let me show you with uh, what we want is we want direct effects so you can make a table like this So direct effects, indirect effect, total effects. So we want from PJF, person job fit, to career commitment, to employee creativity. And similarly, we want for the other independent variable, which is person organization fit. So how we get the betas and how we get the p-values? Because in mediation, we want to check the direct effects, the indirect effect, and total effect. Mainly the indirect effect, because this is according to the famous Barron and Kenny 1986 classical approach so if indirect effects are significant that means we can say that uh, mediation is uh, mediator is performing significant role as a mediator in this relationship so for this one remember it's different from the uh, original version where we look at the, which is consist of four steps but here it's different now uh, so we go here and from where we will get these results let me show you here I, sorry in a mouse output we go to, load, go to the as I told you let me show you again estimates matrix total effects so here you can see these two are dependent variables these are considered independent variables so these are the beta values so for example person job fit 
effects on imply creativity and this is total effects 0.177 so I will just write here uh, total effect is 0.177 and what is the other uh, POF and person organization fate total effects on imply creativity is 0 0.035 so I will just write here uh, I'm just showing you how we can report so then we look at the direct effects this is from person job fit 0 0.066 direct effects on employee creativity and from person organization fit minus 0 0.089 on the per employee creativity so 0 0.066 and minus 0 0.089 and then indirect effects similarly we can see so indirect effects 0 0.11 0 0.124 But are these total effects, direct effects, indirect effects, are they significant or insignificant? Let's have a look. So I will just minimize it because I want to show you how we check it that there. So we make a table like this. And um, but here now we'll, I click on total effects so these are selected. But then I want to see the their uh, p-value or so for that I will go down here and this two tail significance so now it's showing me not the beta values but the significance of total effects of these relationships so i will go back to my file so person job fit has 0 0.001 significance effects on imply creativity and this is remember total effects so it is for this 0.177 so is it significant yes so i will put three stars here three means it is uh, significant highly significant because it's almost 0 0.000 okay and similarly for point person organization fit this is point this is p value 0 0.511 means it is insignificant so mean this 0 0.035 total effects of person organization fit on imply creativity is insignificant similarly we will get the values for significance for direct values direct effects sorry so let's see here so this point zero this point zero nine five is insignificant and this person organization fit has significant effects so this 0 0.032 is the corresponding value of this so I will put one star one basically for one star means less than 0 0.05 two star means uh, less than 0 0.01 and three star means point less than 0 0.001 so we can say something like this okay then indirect effects so both indirect effects of person job fit on employee creativity and person organization fit on employee creativity their significance values these are p values are highly significant so i will just put these are indirect effects stars stars so i hope you're understanding this and let me show you in so what does it mean it means that uh, these indirect effects are significant which means that we accept the hypothesis this I met that yes this CC is working as a significant mediator between the relationship of PJF and EC and similarly CC is working as a significant mediator between the relationship of POF and EC uh, so let me show you here in my report so how we report it there bit a little bit explanation we can give here like we can write like this and it is here only this is slightly mistake this should be three two and one okay so here we go so one thing i want to show you you can test even as on calculator is um, because total effects are equal to direct and plus indirect effects so let's see 0 0.066 plus 0.111 0.177 is the total effects here similarly for next one I mean for these ones see 0 0.089 but this is minus negative so I will just click this plus 0.124 so you see this is equal to the total effects and we are mainly interested in these indirect effects are they significant or insignificant so let me tell you again in summary how we test the mediation analysis is very simple you draw the model you connect the data everything imputed factors then you go to the analysis properties you do the bootstrapping 
and output you select indirect direct and total effects run the analysis and in output you want to see the matrix total effect direct effect indirect effects from here and then total effects significance value direct effect significance value and indirect effect significance value so for significance you have to click here and then you have to shift tabs from here from total to direct to indirect to see their significance value if you unselect this now it will not show the significance value it will only show you the uh, beta values so just plot it in the table like this and you can explain it like whether hypothesis is supported or not supported mainly if indirectly effects are insignificant that that means mediation hypothesis is not supported so i hope you understand it next we will discuss moderation analysis in next video uh, thank you for watching thank you